everyone once again welcome back to my youtube channel and for those who are new i'm main spirit to Cause, your teacher and dressmaking and tailoring here on youtube and for today's session i'll be sharing with you on how to uh draw the pattern of a retro lace top a line short wedding dress with v-neck and continuous color i'll be sharing with you three parts in making this wedding gown the first one is the pattern drafting, the second is the cutting of the fabric, and the third one is the sewing. So let's go on with the pattern drafting. Okay, let's get started. This is how it looks like the one which I'm going to make. Okay, now I have here the, the measurements which includes the full length, the above bust, which this one, the above bust, the bust, the under bust, the waistline, uh, the hip, the arm circumference, sleeve length, and front figure, under bust, the bust point. We need uh, several measurements here in the pattern drafting. We have a band, and the size is two and a half inches. Okay. In doing the skirt of this one i am going to use the the technique or the procedure and cutting the full round skirt from my previous tutorial okay let's go on with the drafting of the pattern now mark this part and leave a space here for the continuous color make it sure that the L square is parallel with the paper there and then from that mark you're going to locate one inch okay and then eight and a half inches for the bus point and the under bus is eleven and a half and then the figure is fifteen and a half then draw this line here Now, from the shoulder, you are going to get it from the second perpendicular line. Okay, this is the second perpendicular line. The size of the shoulder is 14, so take the half, that is 7 inches. Okay. Then from the first perpendicular line, you are going to measure 2 and 3 fourth here. Then, going down, measure seven inches for the neck depth there okay then i want you to move from this mark to here at least one inch for the standing collar it will go that way later just mark it this way okay but you are going to connect these two lines here to create the front shoulder seam get this part here Take this one, get this angle, as I was showing you before also from our previous tutorials and making uh, this part here. I'm going to extend this for the continuous color. I am going to mark it with the blue one. This is for the continuous color, okay? And for this one, I'm going to connect this one here and go in there. now doing the front for the back I'm going to mark one more line here going up so I just one inch going up here there and connect this This is now your basic and getting your uh, back shoulder seam. Measure this one, the distance of this one, and transfer it here. There. Okay. There. And connect these two lines with the use of the green pen. From this corner to here, you're going to connect this to create 
the back shoulder seam there. So this is now your back shoulder seam and you are going to connect this one to here to create the back neck hole. So from this line to here, this is now your back, okay? Okay, the blue lines is your front. Now, we're going to the bust measurement. The bust measurement is 32, then take the one fourth. 32, take the half first, and then take the one fourth. Take, okay, that is eight. Then you're going to mark it here. Then you're going to adjust it or add here for three fourths. Now go with the under bust measurement. The under bust measurement is 27 and a half. Divide it into two first and then take the another half to get the one fourth. So that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is uh, six and seven, eight. There. Now add for the uh, dart here. The one which you are going to add here is the one which you are going to mark here later. Okay. There. Six and seven, eight there then you are going to add again the allowance for the dart so let's see the structure here i'm going to add one in one eight here but this part i'm going to add one in one half okay here so that will be the mark and then i'm going to mark this way Now for the hip part, let's check the hip part which is 36, nine. 9, so that is 9 here, put it here, there, means that this part will be having dark and until here, okay, now get the bus distance the bus distance is six and a half there, mark it there, but you are going to move away at least one eight. One eight there. So that is the part which you are going to follow for the bus distance. There, then here. Now this part which you added here you are going to divide this into two okay and here there then this part also you're going to divide that into two one in one eight there here then here then connect this two And then this part, you're going to use the curve or this uh, French curve here. But before that, I'm going to work with the armhole first. Mark this um, square here. And then get the half of that one. This there then move here in the inside at least a uh, half inch here then you're going to connect this but you have to do the trial and error first for the armhole the armhole is 17 so i'll do it this way i have to mark it here first and do the trial and error okay there
then connect this to the arm pole. Now for the back, use the green one from here. There. And connect it to this area. Until here only because this part is the back. This is not your back, this is the front. There will be a cut here. It will come like this. So this part will be the laces and the tool only. So this is what I'm going to follow now in cutting the fabric and this part will be adjusted later. I will show you how on how to do it. Okay. Now I need to transfer the mark to the back or to the other piece of uh, pattern which is this one. By the way, uh, going to this part, this is we're going to make for the uh, band because the band will be half going to the body and to, to the script. So it will be half half of the measurement of the band like this. The band is two and a half inches. So half will come there and half will come here. Okay. Let's divide it. Like this. And this. This part would be the band. And this is the part which I am going to cut later. Okay? Now, cut this way. And I'm going to take this one, this part now, and getting the measurement of the back. So I need to transfer the basic lines. Now measure this one to take the uh, full measurement of this okay it is three in one four so you are going to measure three in one fourth there also here mark it diagonally so we are going to cut it here okay Since it's already uh, transferred, I'm going to cut the front now.
going to transfer this also because it will be until here only for the upper part because this one is the bag okay now i'll make this part lower here so there will be connected here disregard this one because this is for the front uh, for the back I should say so that we have already here the back so that you'll see what I'm marking okay? the underbus part is 27 or the bus is 27 and a half so we need to measure it here first from there Here and then you have to exclude this one in taking the measurement. Yeah, and then from there to here, there, double it. Then take this, it's 27 and a half. Okay, this is the difference. So you're going to here so it will be eliminated this way this is now your back and this is your front the reason why I'm having this area because there is tool or there is lace there is lace here and the tool and this part is having a basic and tool basic tool and uh, lace this area this part okay here now I'm going to cut here this is the neckline This is the front, and this is the back. Take note that this is the band part. So you are going to cut this area only, okay? Here, exclude this part. This is for the band, okay? You have just seen on how to drop the retro lace top A-line, short wedding dress with v-neck and a continuous color. And for the next uh, tutorial, I'll be sharing with you on how to cut the fabric. And for the next one, on how to sew. Okay. And for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, so that you'll get notified when I upload my next video. Thank you for watching and keep learning.